Okay. Not here in the water. It's my first target. Look at that. Oh, it's screaming at me. Big buck. Very cool. It's most of the cap gun. All right, I got a little bit of change that I haven't shown you. Digging's real hard here, so I'm not, I'm not doing a lot on the live dig stuff, but I gotta. Nice. Oh, there we go. We got here a dime. So I also have another high town down here. If I can find it. Actually, the river part right here. Oh, look at that another thing. Looks like it's going to be clad. Okay, we're starting to find some stuff. Let's see if I can give you a peek. So, see this all right here. This swimming area. You see how low it is. The problem we're by that dock is those rocks are so huge. So, I'm just out here just kind of trying to work what I can. Hey, so far so good. Let's see what else we can get. All right, quarter. So, by the way, I've kind of told talked about this place before, but this is where the ferry used to come across. And I have found a lot of old coins here. Uh, barber quarters, Indian head pennies, you name it. So you never know, I might get something out, out here. All right. So I'm out in the water. And it uh, looks like I just got me a gold ring. Look at that. Boom. How awesome is that? 14K, it says. Oh, that's a nice little band. You know, to be honest, I'm starting to kind of give up out here. I just got here, but it's just really hard digging, but. All right, I think I'm gonna give us a little more look. All right, I got a 26 here. So probably a dime. in my scoop but where oh right on top how lucky was that penny quarter okay and a booming 30 right on top again probably either a quarter or a ring No, <laughs> no, neither one. 
Look at that car. Oh, that's cool. Better than a quarter, actually. A little more fun. Yeah, try a live dig here. This is a 30, but it's blowing my eardrums out, so. Hey. Hmm, there goes right on top. Oh, I see it. Quarter. Yeah, that one's actually kind of new. Kind of surprising for how far out here, man. Oh, man. Looks like I got me another ring. Says Amore Love. Now there's a mark in there. I'm positive that's silver. Uh, I don't need to see the mark. But all right. This is starting to really work out. I gotta say. You know, digging out in the water is a little tougher, but uh there's some some nice things about it. One. There's not a lot of metal detectors out here, at least not in Montana. So, all right, I'm gonna see what else I can get. Nickel. All right, I got I got a key. Okay, I got a banging thirty here. Get it in one scoop. Mm, there we go. Nineteen eighty. Yeah, that's actually one of the newer coins I found in here. Okay, I'm right next to that quarter, pretty much. And I hear a twelve thirteen. So, this is likely a nickel. Probably drop it. Same guy who dropped the quarter. Of course, it's eluding me. Bigger rock down in there. That rock, I think, is right in my way. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe some gold settled. All the way to the bottom, clear underneath this rock. I have it. Tell you what, this is heavy and well, really warm out on this kind of thing. It is a nickel. Let's see that year. Yeah, 1986. So I probably did get dropped by the same guy. All right, I lost my lost my spot there for a second, but I found it. So this is ringing up. Mostly a 30. Looks like we got tricked by the VDA that time, just a penny. 